Hello, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe Jewell. Let's get into today's show. You guys, the Tavis drought is over. We have finally seen Taylor and Travis out in public after weeks of them being very secretive and very private about their relationship. So if you missed it, Taylor and Travis were spotted over the weekend having a romantic lunch by the water in Malibu at Nobu. Yes, Nobu, where all celebrities go all the time. Seriously, if you want to spot a celebrity and you're going to LA or California, go to Nobu Malibu. You will almost certainly see a celebrity there. Maybe not Taylor and Travis. So I'm sure the people that were at Nobu on that day felt very, 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 very fortunate. But it's true. They were there having lunch. And what was funny is we we got a few fan photos, just some people that were also having lunch that were snapping some pictures of Taylor and Travis. They looked, they were kind of out on like the patio space outside. Um, and they were having, Taylor seemed to be having a very animated conversation with Travis. Um, actually, some people thought that, that she was like mad at him and kind of like arguing with him because her face was so expressive. But then they played, there was like a um, video of the conversation and she just seemed to be telling a very um, descriptive story, shall we say. But then there were, of course, because it's Taylor and Travis, paparazzi photos of the two of them leaving Nobu hand in hand, walking out, looking spectacular. And like I said, they really have been very, very private since, well, we we kind of got some glimpses of them a little bit when, when Travis went to visit Taylor on tour in Singapore. But then once they got back to LA, they like shut it down. I mean, we didn't see them at any of the Oscar after parties. They were out to dinner a few times in Los Angeles. We never saw them. They went on vacation. We'll get to that in a little bit. Never saw them. Like they definitely have made it a point to be hidden, so to speak, which I definitely understand. I think there's probably a level of attention that they're willing to accept and take on. But then there's probably other times where they're like, I don't want everyone seeing us. I don't want people posting pictures of us. I don't want people thinking that our conversations are really a fight and reading into everything that we post and say and blah, 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 blah. Um, but after a few weeks of of laying low, they seem to now be comfortable being out in public, which I love. And it's just, I don't know. I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with the paparazzi. I'm sure many of us do. Like there's a selfish part of me that actually, that kind of likes seeing the photos of people I like out and about. It's kind of fun. But then I'm also like, okay, this is invasion of their privacy, though I have to assume that they they knew what was going to happen going to Nobu. Like they they understood there, there would be paparazzi. So I think that they knew what they were getting themselves into. Anyway, love to see it. Um, and as we've said before, like we are gearing up for a big Taylor month ahead. So there's a lot, a lot to look forward to. Um, as I mentioned, as we talked about last week, I think it was last week, maybe the week before, Taylor and Travis were on vacation and it has officially been confirmed that they were on vacation. So people confirmed that Taylor and Travis went to the Bahamas for a few days for a little relaxation, a little private vacay. Here's what a source said about their vacation. Quote, they vacationed in, in the Bahamas for several days. It was a much needed break for both of them. They very much enjoyed it. They are so happy together. Obviously. <laughs> um, but it's it's kind of, I mean, I don't know that they had to confirm their vacation. Like we saw some very um, pixelated photos of them on vacation. There were like a couple, I think, videos that kind of circulated of them um, on vacation. So I think we, as the fans knew that, that, that they had gone on, on vacation, but now it has been officially confirmed. They got some time away. Um, and it's just been a busy kind of couple weeks because then Travis, I think following the Bahamas vacation, he then went back to his hometown of Cleveland for a few days and he was spotted out and about in Cleveland. I think some fans actually spotted him at a pizza place, um, and got a photo with him. And so, and, but then he immediately got back to LA. Actually, I think like a, a article from TMZ came out of saying like Travis Kelsey spotted in Cleveland without Taylor Swift the same day that Taylor and Travis were out to lunch in Malibu. So Travis clearly went back for a couple days or a little bit and then immediately made his way back to Los Angeles to be back with Taylor. Um, and I have to imagine being in, in LA is like probably pretty nice for them because 
they get to be they get to be more normal, quote unquote normal in Los Angeles than they would if they were in Cleveland or Kansas City. Like, I mean, I don't think any city is very respectful of celebrities, but LA, New York, they're at least more respectful of celebrities. Uh, and I, I guess just more used to seeing them out and about. So they can kind of move around with a little bit more secrecy. And there's also more like private member only places where they know they won't be photographed and all that kind of stuff, which that doesn't really exist in the more uh, smaller cities across America. So that's kind of that for your Taylor Travis um, updates, spottings of the last week or so. Um, as I mentioned, they're back in Los Angeles, so maybe we'll get to see them out and about in the coming days, weeks. Who's to say? I am curious what Taylor is doing in LA right now. I think some people feel like she, um, at least like the first couple weeks that they were there, she was filming some music videos for her new album, which th that definitely seems possible because they have like the sound stages and like studio space to film a music video. So wouldn't be shocked if, if that's why she's there. Um, and yeah, again, big, big few weeks ahead a lot to prepare for. Very excited. We are, the countdown has started for the Torture Poets Department release. Um, and I, for one, I just can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, that's it for today's show. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the Taylor Travis lunch date spotting. If you think we're going to see them anywhere else any, anytime soon, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.